Hey everyone, Tim Clapham here from Hello Lux with a quick tip for creating instant molecules with X particles. I mean, let's be honest, they're not really actual molecules that I'm making, but they're kind of cool, like head up display or scientific looking things that I stumbled across and I thought I'd share. It's a really quick tip. First of all, you can see what I've got in here is just a spline. Now I'm going to add an X particles emitter. And then to this, I'm going to add a line to spline. Let's drag that spline in there. On frame zero, I'm going to add a key. Jump to say frame 100. Let's set that to 100 and add another key. Now, if we rewind, obviously that emitter is now going to follow that path. And that's not the result we want at the moment. So let's select the emitter, switch to the object tab. The emitter shape I'm going to set as a sphere um, with a radius of 50 is OK. Emission, um, we really don't want that many. Maybe we want 25. And we're going to add some variation in here of about 25 speed. I'm going to set the speed to be zero. OK, and let's rewind and now have a look at what happens. So we're just creating this whole bunch of particles. Let's hide that spline. Let's select the emitter, switch to display, and let's say uh, set these as circle field so we can see that a bit more clearly. I think we've probably got too many, but that gives you the general idea. If we come up to the X particles menu and add in a trail object now, and we'll drag our emitter into here, and for the algorithm, we're going to choose nearest by distance. Okay, now let's rewind and press play again, and here we go. And you can see now we've got this kind of crazy instant molecule being formed. Obviously, we can change the uh, settings on the emitter, even the random seed, and it will generate a different molecule for us every time set up a camera rotating around one of these could look pretty cool now obviously with this particular molecule the particles just appear on and they're not moving at all so we could obviously take this further and create a variation on that okay select the emitter switch to the emission tab let's uncheck emit all frames and set it so that it only emits to frame 99 I'm running at 25 frames a second, 125 frames in total. I'm going to reduce the birth rate down to 15. Let's set the speed to be 60 and let's add in some variation of around 50. Now, if we rewind, press play, you can see that we get this crazy kind of molecule being drawn on. It's almost like a constellation with the drawings that you see um, in astronomy diagrams. It's looking pretty, pretty cool. But if we wanted to, um, create the molecule that we had before but we want it to grow so we don't want it to keep growing and then we need to stop those particles at a certain time switch to the questions tab on the emitter and let's add in a question here particle age perfect is greater than let's set that to be 25 frames and we're going to add an action here and the action i'm going to choose is change speed um, and we can control a modifier if we like, but what I'm going to do here is just set this to absolute and set the speed to zero. So they're just going to come to an abrupt stop. So now when we rewind and press play, the particles should grow out, um, creating our kind of molecule. But when they reach the age of 25 frames, then they should stop. So we'll end up with a kind of string of molecules as we had before. And there we go. So perhaps they're traveling a little bit too fast. Let's just reduce that down to say 40. And there we have it. Instant molecules with X particles. Pretty neat. So I hope you enjoyed that quick tip from Tim Clapham at Hello Lux. And head on back because there'll be plenty more Cinema 4D, After Effects, X particles, and plenty more tutorials in the future. Thanks a lot.